All right, this is a response video to Rex Kruger's stool project made from one two by four. And I'll be honest with you, um, this is quite a challenging project. So there's lots going on in a simple stool. Hey, my name is Marty Ford and welcome to my channel. Um, I am kind of a guy that just likes to get his hands on things and try new things and woodworking kind of happens to be uh, where I'm at right now. So I've been doing some things. I built a workbench, um, made some things for my workbench, and now I started making my first piece of furniture. And I am super, super excited about how this has turned out. So um, it's just a simple modern stool um, made from two by fours. What's cool about this stool is um, we've lived in this house for almost 20 years and there has been a pile of wood um, up in the, in the ceiling of my garage, all kinds of different boards that the previous owner left. So in the top of the garage, there's some old crown molding, some old baseboard, some old trim, and some old two by fours from a wall that they tore out or moved a door or something. And they threw those two by fours up there and I thought it would be cool to create this project make a piece of furniture out of some old wood from this house. So I made the stool. Um, I am super excited about how it turned out. It was fun, but it's a challenging project. Um, I thought I would throw this video together just as a response. Um, so encourage some of you maybe to try your own furniture making. I don't know. So here's making this stool. Here's the process and uh, enjoy watching the process. It took a long time. Okay, so I made a mistake. So I'm building this stool and I get it all laid out and I go to drill the holes for the stretcher in the front of the two legs. And I end up drilling the hole 90 degrees perpendicular to the leg. Exactly 90 degrees. Well, the legs stick out a little bit, and I had marked, <sighs> I'm still frustrated about this, um, I marked the angle, but when I put it in the vise, I covered up the pencil mark for the angle, and I totally forgot about it, and so I just drilled, and wrong, doesn't work, messed up, so I either make a whole new leg, but I realized that I had some three-quarter inch oak 
dowel rod. So I end up gluing a piece of dowel rod into the hole and patching it. And we'll see if this works. So it's not going to look great, but this stool is, I plan to use it in my workshop. So I'm not too worried about it. It's a learning experience. So don't make the same mistake. So that's how we made this stool. Um, what, a, what a fun process. Like I said, multiple mortise and tenon joints, some complex angles, um, lots of use of the planer, um, a hand plane. Uh, there's just so much to learn, and I'm excited to, to maybe make another stool. I would like to get some different wood. I would love to do this in a cherry or mahogany or um, maybe oak legs and um, a walnut seat. I don't know. Um, just just to create some contrast. I think it would be really cool to have a contrasting legs and seats or some really contrasting wood in these tenons, uh, mort uh, mortise and tenons. I used oak for my wedges and um, it, it doesn't contrast a whole lot. I love the look but it would have been cool to use some walnut or something that was a real big contrast to this, this uh, I would say, yellow pine. Uh, but anyway, great project. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, who knows what's next? Thanks for watching.